we're gonna talk about YouTube channels, mm -hmm. other YouTube channels. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about why these channels are important to you and why they've been important to us. Yeah, and why size doesn't matter. We're officially setting a timer so that we don't yeah. jibber jabber about oh, each one. We just want you to know who they are, why they've influenced us. So we're gonna do a timer because we do have at least 10. Where's? You can swipe down. You just swipe, swipe, swipe down. No, no, no. Calculator, compass. No, swipe down, swipe right there. Timer. Stopwatch. Okay. Okay, here we're Tech doing it. savvy here. Go. All right, we're gonna come out of the gate mm -hmm. with Happily Ever Hang. Yeah, dude. Because it is totally fresh in our minds because we just got to meet them at a Hanging with the Hanks cool. meetup yep. right here in Michigan. It was awesome. And these cats are so fun. They're a fresh vibe. They're so young. They're super fun to watch. We watch them kind of like a TV show. Yeah. You know? They're so entertaining and funny. And it's just like, you can't help but watch them and just feel good afterwards. Uh, definitely. And you learn stuff about RVing and finances and everything along yeah. the way. Not only that, but we kind of get a little giddy whenever it's Thursday because we're like, dude, the Hanks are dropping a video. Yeah. They have been RVing for around four years and they just started a YouTube channel about a year ago. Dude, they're just straight crushing the YouTube game too, by the way. Can I just say that? I want to say oh, that. I think they won like YouTube awards. or They're just, I can see why. They're so such a great young couple with such a fresh vibe. They're lovable. I want to hang out with the Hanks. Yeah, we could have hung out with them <laughs> for like, I don't know, a whole few weekends. They have influenced us by just sharing a light, fun, YouTube, RV vibe. I mean, it's not all about like, tips and tricks and you know right. kind of like a boring I'm sorry not every you know tips and trick video oh, is boring she just went there but they're not boring they're a lot of fun that's how they've influenced us they've influenced us to just have fun yeah man Hanks can bring the fun. <laughs> wow they're not boring that's how they've influenced us because we enjoy watching them <laughs> holy crap okay next one we're out <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Liz, <laughs> amazing. Liz and Paul, we've dubbed them as our YouTube parents. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're such a fun couple. They are influential to us because honestly, they were the first channel that really reached out to us and had a real sense of care for right. who we are as a family, who we were as a channel, mm -hmm. our kids kind of just like, whoa, we thought. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they kind of grabbed us by the hand and just walked us through a lot of the processes yeah. of the growing pains of having a YouTube channel. Yeah. And that was very meaningful to us. And sometimes like parents do, they were like, <laughs> What are you guys doing? Yeah. Listen up. Yes. In a lovingly parent kind of way. Yes. And so it was just really awesome. And of course, they make great informational videos. Absolutely. Like if you want to learn something about the RV life, dude, their channel is like all about information, yeah. RV centric. It's yeah. so good. And then they have a whole other channel that's all about e-bikes. So if you're interested in that and oh, trails yeah. and e-bikes and all that stuff, check that channel out too, because it's a whole nother ball game of what to do for e-biking world. Yeah, e-biking e -bike world. E-bike world, so by e-bicyclists. Which we know nothing about, <laughs> except it's like a throttle. Yeah, so Liz amazing, they are amazing. Thanks for being our YouTube parents. Yay. <laughs> So 
one of the channels that has influenced me probably more than any other channel is Peter McKinnon. And why would Peter McKinnon be on this RV channel being discussed? Well, look, he was someone that showed me by example in so many ways. Number one, how to produce incredible videos. Like I apprenticed him for months, years, guys. I've been watching him forever. And not only that, he also exampled probably the most important point that we're trying to make out of this entire video, and that is this, how one tide can rise all the ships around him. He created this whole thing called a dope squad, okay? And out of that, he took all of his photographer buddies and other creators that were in the same space as him, and he didn't view them as competitors. He brought his buddies along and they created videos together. He created friendships and bonds that really are probably now unbreakable. And I think that there is so much value in that. And it really just influenced Dylan and I so much that we thought, gosh, this guy is such an example in so many ways that as we create our channel and there's other channels being created around us that are either in the RV space or not, we would love to do things with them. And with doing so, we reach other people that we would have never otherwise reached. And I think that that, number one, is just a brilliant way to create an incredible community and two, also kind of hold on to each other and support one another, both by audience and by channel. So thank you, Peter, for just showing me personally how to create incredibly sick content, right? And continue to learn and press my own creative envelope. Thank you for showing me how to create, I guess, our own RV dope squad. I don't know. <laughs> but just that you were there as an example from long ago and you didn't even know it, but thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. So dude, if you've not heard of Peter McKinnon, you probably live under a rock. If you have not somehow heard of him, go check him out. He creates incredible stuff. May not be your thing. It's cool. It's fun to watch anyways. Go see the bucket shot. If nothing else, watch the bucket shot. It's a great, great video. of an RV squad. Let's talk about an RV odd squad, or rather an RV odd couple. Uh, you wanna talk about like polarizing, right? Like this lion is a polarizing thing if you saw it in the wilderness. Well, the RV odd couple, they are a polarizing channel in the RV community, yes. are they not? They roar in the YouTube world. <laughs> they certainly do. <laughs> Ooh, there's a spider. John and Mercedes over at the RV Odd Couple. They are a much larger ship in the world of YouTube than our Not So Perfect Life. Yep. And we matter to them. Yeah. They reach out to us, they comment on our channel, they encourage us, yep. they lift us up, yes. and really care about our family. They have prayed for us, they have prayed with us. Yep and they have just really exampled that size doesn't matter. And for them to reach out to us or have any kind of relationship with us almost doesn't really benefit them, but it proves the point that they reach down and they wanna help someone else. And it's really just made such an impact on us that we realize let's live that out right now. Right. Let's be that example today. Let's not wait until we're at a hundred and some odd thousand subscribers. Let's do something today. Let's continue living that life out by being yeah. an example, reaching out to others, and just being a helping yeah. hand. So John and Mercedes, thank you guys so much. And if you haven't checked out the RV Odd Couple. If you actually don't know who they are in the <laughs> RV space, I would be absolutely shocked. <laughs> yeah. So go and check them out. So sometimes when you're just one of those boats back there, it can feel Ugh. like you're just lost yeah. in the sea of many, oh, dude. many right. boats. And starting out as a YouTube channel, you kind of can feel like, wow, I'm never gonna make any kind of ripple effect. I'm never gonna make a wave, you know? We would be lying if we didn't come across those same thoughts ourselves. Right, the YouTube world is gigantically <laughs> enormous, right? Yeah. And when we first started, we thought, how are we gonna be able <sighs> to make a difference? What are we gonna, how? We have like 23 subscribers and yeah. they're all our friends. <laughs> <laughs> we, would, we would upload videos and literally just be like, okay, so who did you send it to? Okay, wait, did you send it to Uncle Bark? Make sure you send it to your mom. All right, and we would you know? celebrate like 46 views in like five days. Yay! <laughs> and this is why we say that size 
doesn't matter. Exactly. So consider the wonders. These guys are wonderful. We have had so much fun conversating <laughs> back and forth yes. from Instagram with them, on our YouTube channel with them, and we love watching their videos. Yeah. They have a great time with their daughter and they don't full-time RV. Right, they just kind of go out on the weekend or make a big trip and go record a bunch of stuff and then make videos from that. And they show that you don't have to give up your job or be a retiree right. to take your family or go out and like make these memories. Yeah, just consider the wonders of the life that you have before you. And that's kind of yeah. like the way that they roll their mantra in their channel and we yeah. love it. Yeah, so it's been super inspirational to us to watch how much they go out and enjoy their lives with their daughter and just have fun and create YouTube content while they're doing it. Yep. So consider the wonders, go check them out. Okay, okay. Wow, right, we so just have so many. I know, so let's, let's like wrap a few into like a two minute segment. All right, so quick breakdown. Why does Jake influence you? Okay, so Jake Fru has such an unassuming approach and I absolutely love it. His work is so beautifully done and his messaging is so positive and uplifting. Like when he speaks, I am like, yeah. Is there like a little rift between RVers and van lifers? Like I just want to know like is there some <laughs> static happening? Uh, because I like this van life guy and he's not in the RV community. And um Aiden. So Aiden Robbins, young cat, super smart, like absolutely so brilliant. And the way he films, the way he color grades, like I know this may not matter to you, but it matters to me. He pushes me to become better at what I do. And I've appreciated Aiden's work for so long. I've been watching him since his channel was small, like less than 10,000 subscribers. And his channel's grown immensely, but it's another one of those channels that has reached out and touched me personally as a creator and pushed me. Um, so Chad and Claire influenced influenced me because they started out around the same time that we did. And we had George, which was a 35 foot class A. They created their own van mod in a little teeny tiny Sprinter van <laughs> and traveled the country. And it encouraged me so much because through rain or shine, we're always smiles on their face, loving each other, yep. loving the adventure, living their dream. And now they're doing it internationally. And I just was so encouraged by yeah. this young couple that said, you know what, we're doing it. And then trying something new. I love those guys because they are always trying something new. <laughs> they you are. just never know what they're gonna be doing next. And they are taking their kids and they're also encouraging their kids to be starting their own businesses on the road with them. And so I just, I love that vibe. Of, Absolutely. Uh, I mean, they're wild and crazy, but <laughs> I just, I love raising yes. the tide everywhere they go, trying something new. They really are. So yeah, all right. That was all four wrapped into one real Ooh, quick. That was a rapid fire session. <laughs> On to the next. Switch it up. All right. You, you know, you, you gotta sing it. Like if you if you haven't heard their intro, it's already like in your head, like switch yeah. it up. Yeah. Every time we're always singing that little jingle. So Todd and Sheila, they have really been awesome to watch. We've watched them kind of from the beginning of their journey oh, too. Oh yeah, for sure we have. Again, another couple who started around the same time as we did. And so we were like just learning all about RVing <laughs> alongside with them. Yeah, man, they did the same thing. They kind of just sold everything everything they right. jumped in the RV world and said we're doing it Woo! but yeah they jumped right in and learned right on camera like we did too so it was kind of refreshing to watch another couple working through all the kinks at the same time that we were too oh yeah for sure and it's just like you know the reason that they influence us so much is that they just have a love and passion for people. They love God with their whole heart. Yeah. And I just think that, you know, we have such a common core value of life mm -hmm. that, you know, it really reached us yeah. and it really influenced us in such a positive right. way. And they're adventurous, even when it makes Todd anxious. Like they're, crabs. Like, like they're crabs. planners, but, but remain flexible. Oh, they're yeah. patient with each other. 
and love each other unconditionally. And we're just looking forward to watching more and more of their journey unfold. If you love Lucky Charms and you want to laugh, watch Switch It Up and you'll understand why. <laughs>And the channel that helped us learn the most about RVing was KYD. Yeah, I mean, they just showed us from the very beginning thought process, like, is this possible for us? Mm -hmm. They kind of showed us, they held our hand, not personally, we have no idea right. who they are personally, but just through watching their channel, we thought, right. golly, we could actually do this. Well, they were from Arizona like us. Yep. They had their kids on the road with them because our kids are not little bitties. So we right away saw they, they did it. Well, and we just really gravitated towards the way they were talking about the RV life. They just reached us the way they were doing the things mm -hmm. that they were doing. The practicality of, hey, RV beginners, here are some things you're gonna want to know. What are some of the essentials? Towing basics, RV essentials, bike racks. Right, like... how they do storage, you know, how they even oh, yeah. set up their house in Flagstaff yeah. when they're not there. I mean, they had been, they've been doing this for so long yeah. that um, they've experienced so much. And let me just say this too, I applaud the success that they are enjoying. They have worked really hard and yeah, their channel is enormous, but I also think that that is a result of their hard work and dedication. Yeah. Not only to the, just the craft of making videos and telling great stories, mm -hmm. but really just the dedication they have to this life, the lifestyle, and what they want to achieve as a couple. And I really think that that, for us to see that, is very influential because it, it gives me hope that like, wow, you know, maybe we could influence a, another couple to do what they're doing and right. it's it's based on our videos and our dedication and so thank you mark and trish you probably don't even know who we are and you no, they like to comment the, about the storage unit with oh they did comment <laughs> once although we actually think it might have been caleb did, i'm just saying did they comment on our video they actually did okay. yeah because our youtube mom and dads were like how did you get mark and trish to comment on your channel i was like i don't know Either way, they have been influential in our personal RV journey from selling our house, getting an RV, what the heck to know what to do right. and what to take with us. Yeah, so thanks KYD, keep up the good work. Yep. <laughs> we have shared with you some channels that have really influenced us and actually there's so many more, but we don't wanna make like a 45 minute video. So we wanna hear from you. Right. Who are YouTube channels that have influenced you? Uh, let us know. We always love finding new channels. Well, exactly, right? Because you might watch RV channels and you also might watch like crocheting channels and you might be like, oh, this crocheter, knitter, builder, gardener. Right, or this musician, or this speaker, or this person is very influential in my life and you can check them out here. You know, share with us down below because we'd love to hear from you and people who have influenced, encouraged, and inspired oh, you. Absolutely, because size of the channel doesn't equal the size of influence in your life. And so right. we would love to know, man, who has reached you? Well, we hope you've enjoyed this little spin of an episode. Yep. Come back next week. We'll have some adventure and we will see you in the next one. Peace.